these buttons here. Okay, there we go. We're so close. Yep. Wow. We did it. Pick on our cows real quick. Yeah, I was just making yeah, sure I too. looked over and wanted to make sure I'm live in time for the handoff here, so. Yep. I should be live and ready to go whenever oh. you are oh, ready oh. to hand off. What happens when you turn in front of me? Yeah. <laughs> really? Never turn oh. in front of Spencer. <laughs> it, it looks I was like... pulling full screen, you're just like, I'm going to make a sharp right turn here. I didn't know you were behind <laughs> me. <laughs> See, what a way I... to end. I, I guess at this point, that's payback for you almost tipping Spencer over earlier. <laughs> right. <laughs> payback. It's karma. Hold on. Hold on. I, I feel like you should go around nice. the other side, Spencer, and lift him up by his head. <laughs> you just there we go, got Evil it. Spencer cackle. Aww. Yep. Oh, Dadson wants a dad joke. One last dad joke to here. finish things off, huh? Yep, seems as so. You know, I tried to catch fog yesterday. I missed. Nice. No. Yep. <laughs> Danny's like, no. No. That's so much better when it's the laughing dog doing the joke. Oh, boy. Savage is like, no. just no. Thank you for joining <laughs> us all this lovely Bowers hit me with a, Okay, so now all this stuff's going to start coming in as I'm about ready to hand it off. Uh, uh, Bowers like, right for that, you need like, to eat a bean boozle. Well, for, for that dad joke, you need to eat a bean boozle. Oh, you And then there's another Bauer. one. I thought you meant Bauer Matza. Nope. No, I, 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 I gotta, I gotta keep... Th yeah, when... Normally I see Bauer Matza and I say Bauer. I need to start calling him Matza yep. because Matza. now there's now there's yep. have a Bauer. now there's a Bauer 83, and then every now and then uh, the new R Bauer will join us. He's the truck driver that will join from the road. Yep. Yep. A lot of people join in the community. I know it's it's awesome, man. I'm loving it. Yeah, my my 24-hour stream. I couldn't keep track of everybody in chat. There was 226 unique chatters over that 24 hours. That's awesome. <laughs> Why you? So like, towards the end, I'm like, "Are you the one I was talking to an hour ago, or no?" <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I, it's, it's... All right. I was uh, even saying, like, I, I have, I have no idea if you were the person I was talking to a little while ago or not. And there's two more dad jokes. Birthday afterwards. cake or dirty dishwater? Really? Is that what I'm gonna end on? I'm like gonna be uh... tasting the dirty dishwater for like hours. Mm -hmm. I dropped it. Plus floor germs. Yay. Five second rule. Alright, here we go. Uh, no. Is there a five second rule on dirty dishwasher water though? Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh. It is soapy. I'll let you rinse it. Well, uh... no! No, Spencer! <laughs> and, 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 and the two dad jokes to go with it. Oh man, three I think. Or no, he got Dadson already. So yeah, two. yeah, I got Dadson. All right, so two more dad jokes. Here we go. Uh, let's see. What's a pessimist blood type? B negative. No. Oh. That's. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I, so I it? somehow I saw that. Like <laughs> well, what now? We all did. What do you call an onion that likes hip hop? A rap scallion. No. <laughs> Thank you for Can the we sub. Just not? Yeah. <laughs> ah, yes, Prime. Uh. Thank you. Out of everyone that you could have given that to, thank you for choosing to do it here. I really appreciate it. it means a lot. Ooh, Darius. Yeah. Yes. We get new dinosaurs on December the 9th. Oh, nice. Did you see these doors? Oh, Did you see okay. the message I sent you in Discord earlier? About Cuomo? Yes. Yes. Yes, I knew that last night before he sent yeah. it. So. I, I, I thought you might like that. Yes. Oh, I like that. No more Cuomos. I really like that. 
All right. So I think our dairy empire is getting there slowly but surely. Yep. So what new dinosaurs do we get, Scurvy? Ooh. All right. Looks and we like... still only own the starting land. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't purchased anything Just, else yet. You're always stuck with that. I sure yep, do. It that never that. changes. I sure do. We get Chronosaurus. We get a Wurosaurus. We yolk. get Minmi. And we get a Dusungo Pteris. All right, let me go ahead and get this uh, so, so we get a mouthful. set up. We're going to pass on over to I Darius. Have a broad 9090 olive. I finally just purchased it. Yep. Morning, next man. Morning, Morning next man. All right, everyone. Thanks for hanging out here with Yosho, Danny, and Spencer. We had a blast. Uh, looking forward to the next time. We're going to be passing it on over to Darius, and he's going to continue carrying the torch of our 24-hour coverage. Uh, for how many days is it now? 16. 16. 16 days? 16, 16 days day, straight. Day. That Six is days amazing. Go. Six more days to go till what? Christmas? Is that till 22. <laughs> till 22. Yeah, okay. days till Christmas. That's not very yeah, yeah that, that, that that's, that's terrible. You're bumping up the numbers. <laughs> There a little oh, bit. Well, hey, I mean, you, you, you are skipping some days, sir. Dude, no. <laughs> you are skipping some days, sir. Just a few. I, 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 oh, I mean, as a matter of fact. <laughs> Bauer said, not Darius. I've had enough of him. <laughs> okay. Let's tell everybody. I, to you know, the, the, the other day. Leaves. The other day he complained <laughs> that he was always missing me. And now he's like, nope, I've had enough of him. See? That's right. right. Fick, f fickle people. Thank All right, everybody. Thank I'll see y'all over on the other side. Y'all be safe. We'll catch you Bye, next time. Bye, everybody. <laughs>raid there yo show oh, i do appreciate not it not a problem nanik and southern danny thank you for those follows how are you all to this evening morning wherever you might be in the world tired so i'm tired. going back to bed. <laughs> like, I'm going to bed how's it going there uh, bauer all right i got you there scurvy i got you i've got some this morning i've got some cape cod uh, cranberry dry. Really good stuff. Oh, fun. Yes, yes. So welcome, everybody. <laughs> uh, hi, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> gonna convert some trailers today, uh, Winston. Nice, nice. I was gonna save up and get that no, that lovely Zarian you, uh, you did, but, um, I had to buy my olive harvester. Uh, Duders2015, thank you for that follow. Welcome to the channel. How are you doing this morning? Oh, I gotta make sure I do that, do that. Gotta get caught back up to where I was. Slowly starting to put away some of my equipment while I, uh, finish up another contract. How's it going there, Shaw Will? Uh, Dadson1996, thank you for that follow. Welcome to the channel. How are you doing today? Martin Mai, how are you? Farmer Coke, good morning. Henry coming in. How is everybody today? They have an uh, energy drink now for Farming Simulator. A Farming Simulator energy drink? Yes, available at Audi Nord in Germany. Oh, well, that's not fair. I, I, I know. That's it's not fair the, uh, at all. Giants... Dot com, or giant dash software dot com uh, forward slash news. They have an energy drink out now. <laughs> the lovely Fummins Western Star should hopefully be seeing another update soon on the SGA. Now that he has uh, helped me finish the wheels that I was adding, which I will be showing off here shortly. 1.5 million copies sold. 
in the first wow. week. That is insane. Yeah, that was... Yeah, they posted that a few days ago. That was... That's impressive. Yeah. Of release? Yeah. Or is that pre-release? That's first week. Wow. What? They have... <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's impressive that they've managed to mm. do that in the first week. Um... I think it bodes well, and it, it does explain some of the issues they've been having with the... Aside from the yeah, fact the that it's the first time they've tried to do multiplayer cross-platform with everything, so they've got all of those yeah. issues. And then you've got that kind of an influx of players in such a I'm, short I'm period of time, of yeah. I think they have done yeah. phenomenal. They have, and, and I know uh, <coughs> some of the rumors are going around that, like, obviously with the first patch, everybody's going to be on the same field, so if anybody's slow in pushing that patch out to their system, it's going to slow everybody else down and get their patch, unfortunately. Yep, yep. <clears throat> so. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward time to the next day there's Spencer on the game and then save it. So, okay, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and go. Alright there, go. Danny. You have All a right, good, uh, good night. We'll catch you later. Hi, Danny. Bye, everybody. Hi, Danny. See you, Danny. Just trying to finish up this uh, last Sugar Beet contract. Uh, I don't want to complete this one yet, because if I do, it's going to return the equipment I'm using for this contract. So I can't do that yet. Uh, well, welcome Aussie Wheels. How are you doing this morning? Um, they haven't been too bad. Uh, I had a whole bunch of contracts going at the same time, so it's been kind of hectic trying to manage all my equipment, but I'm finally down to just the one now, and it's going pretty good. Aha! I see. Yeah, I'm gonna go throw a new set of tires on this thing. Real quick. Where did you see this energy drink? I haven't found it yet. I mean, I think those look pretty, pretty impressive myself. Oh yeah, very nice. Yeah, yeah, they came out pretty good. Oh, nice there, Pharmacope. Yeah, yeah, having clothes for work is important. I like to duke's a hazard in my vehicles. It makes life go by fast. <laughs> but, yeah, I thought that these would be some, uh... a nice set of tires to go point. along with the thing. Is that speed readout above the speedo in the degrees thing a mod? Uh, yes, it is vehicle control add-on, Dadson. Uh, exclamation VCA if you'd like a, a link to it on the PC. Last I knew they yes. were at build 19, but that's probably been updated by now. Uh, it allows me to lock on a heading so I can stay in a straight line. So it'll lock and keep a straight line for me. It's pretty nice. Hey, Spencer. Yeah. Spencer uh, is sleeping. Except what? Oh. Except sleep. 
When you need to wear high vis clothing in a warehouse. I hit yes, but I Okay. Let me let me try it again then. Maybe it was too low. Yep. Yeah, high vis is always a fun thing. Okay. It gets dirty really quick too. Gets dirty really quick. Yeah, that's a problem. Well, I, I remember uh, the last warehouse job I was at where I did a forklift utility work. You know, I was just bringing out uh, packaging, bringing full packages back. Um, they, uh, the customy company, the company decided to put in um, cameras inside the facility and they, they claimed it was to watch for employee safety. Uh... But instead, all they did was use the cameras to um, write up employees for forklift violations, uh, violations of work practices and things like that. It was like, yeah, all right, for safety, right? Mm -hmm. um, and they, in order to do all of this, they had claimed they were... Uh, on thin profit margins, so they had um, suspended the 401k match because it claimed it was going to save the company about 1.8 million dollars uh, by by suspending it. So they, until they were more profitable, they were going to suspend the 401k match so that they could keep in business and everyone would stay employed. Sounds right. good, you know, no big deal. But. And then we find out that between their two uh, two plants, one was in Maine, one was in Ohio, the uh, high definition cameras with night vision capability, sound, and all of this stuff um, cost about a million dollars between the two plants. Yeah. And then sure, we went over well. Then we found out that OSHA had gone into the Ohio plant, had found safety violations. So they said, before we give you a fine, you have X number of days to, to fix these violations. Makes sense. So the company had made the fixes, and made the made the updates, and sent in all of the visual evidence and everything. And OSHA said, okay, fine. You know, good deal. Good job. We'll see you... You know, in, in like six months for a follow-up visit, just to make sure everything's still going well. Well, they went in six months later and found out that, yes, the, 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 the modifications had been made. And then the head of maintenance in that facility had undone many of those fixes because it would increase productivity. Oh, no. And they slapped the company oh, with an $800,000 no. fine. Oh, ouch. So, wait a minute, a yep. million dollars in cameras and an $800,000 fine, but you're saving $1.8 million on the 401k. Um, I don't think it's because no. you're not profitable. No. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Got slammed. That, uh... And rightly so. That, that became quite the thing. <clears throat> And then uh, the department I was in was looking at a slowdown in work as well as potential layoffs as they redid the schedule and everything else. And I said, you know what, before I get laid off or have something like that happen, I'm going to start putting my um, you know, resume together so I can start looking for a new job. Yeah. Called my sense. old boss and I'm like, hey, do you mind if I use you as a, as a job reference? on my resume. He goes, why? Are you looking for work? I said, yeah, I'm getting ready to put my resume together and start looking. He goes, well, come see me for lunch tomorrow. And he offered me a job making a dollar more an hour than I was already making. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay. Done. Bye. <laughs> Good morning, Jaren. Oh, that's no fun there, LS. So yeah, it was, um... I, I definitely didn't miss leaving that, because of course I worked there for like... 
two plus years. And it was 6.30 p.m. to 6.30 a.m., four days on, four days off. But yep. through a lot of that, they had mandatory overtime, so they would go around with a list. Yeah. And it's like, what days do you want of overtime? Uh, Brucey Boy 24804 thank you for that follow. Welcome to the channel. How are you doing this morning? Um, so there was a lot of mandatory overtime, and then after the mandatory kind of went away, there was still volunteer overtime volunteer uh more like voluntold <laughs> but, yes but, I know but that they claimed it was. wasn't mandatory sure right um and uh yeah there was a point where i ended up working 29 days straight without a day off and and this That's was this was back when my youngest kid was an infant so it was really hard to to continue Just doing that. that so yeah. it's like all right i can go from Working 12-hour nights, back to working 40 hours a week, days, Monday through Friday, and have my weekends back for more money? Yep. Ding. Okay. Thanks for playing. <laughs> Thanks for playing. Company yep. you worked for for 28 years gave everyone a 13.5% pay cut and then turned around and bought... <gasps> Ouch. Yeah, hey, Rake, I can understand that. That's no fun. The working company that I worked for in Little Rock... Um... They put us on 12-hour uh, shifts to do 24-hour coverage on this one machine. Uh, the machine cost uh, <clears throat> half a million dollars, and apparently they needed to make their money back on it. So after doing a year of 10-hour days, uh, they finally put us on 12-hour days. So I was doing 12s Monday through Friday, uh, a 10 on Saturday, and an 8 on Sunday. So it was 80 hours a week. That's and, rough, uh, I yeah. I did that for six months straight, and finally I was like, hey, I got to come off of this because I'm falling asleep on the way home from work. Yeah. And my boss said, the machine's got to run. I said, here's my two-week. I'm done. Yeah. he's like, okay. I found another person. Yep. So, uh, yeah, it, it didn't matter. They just they were finally making yeah. money, and whenever they paid off the machine, then they started working as 12 so they can make more money off of the machine. Yep. yep. That's good to hear, Brucey so, boy. I'm doing pretty that. good. <laughs> yeah, and uh, it, like when I got that other, when I got the replacement job, I went in and I gave my two weeks. Like, all right, I'm giving you my two weeks. I've already got another job lined up. And he goes, well, are you going to be making more money? And I go, yeah, I'm going to be making about 20 cents more an hour. <laughs> he goes, well, let me talk to my manager. I can, you know, I can, let me, I can see if I can get you some more money. I go, no, I'm going back to days. I'll be making more money. The benefits are cheaper. And he goes, yep. well, I think you're making the biggest mistake doing that, uh, going back to that other job. You've got so much more potential here because so-and-so is getting ready to retire. You can take his yep. job. You'd be making so much more yep. money. Oh, yeah. And I'm like, well, time will tell. Uh, I left there, and six months later, they did away with that entire work shift. Yep. And anybody, anybody that couldn't take another shift was laid off. I don't think I, uh, I don't think I missed out on anything. No. Nope. Yeah, I think you, I think you made a good one. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it's going pretty good, Joel. Cutting trees, nice, nice. Yeah, and then I ended yeah. up going um, and becoming an FDA compliance officer for the company that I went to after the uh, warehouse work, and that turned out to be a really bad mistake. So I ended up going on my own construction before my back gave out, and now here I am. I'm going to call it a night, guys. All right, there's All right, Spencer. Talk to you guys later. Thanks, Spencer. Yep, have a good guys. night. Right. Yeah, I, I had two vacations canceled for FDA Ooh. compliance. Ooh. Yep, well, one, one of which was scheduled months in advance. We rented a campsite um, at, a, you know, a tenting campsite with the kids for a weekend, for a whole week. And it was 45 minutes out of town. And three days of my vacation got canceled for a FDA inspection. Ugh. So it's like, all right, well, it's kind of understandable because they sent the notice in with, in three weeks, we're coming in to inspect your plant. Yeah. I'd yeah, already had to, do that. you know, so yeah, it, it was, it was understandable. Okay. Yeah. That I get. And then, um, they had bought another plant or another company that had a plant 
up north. If anybody's familiar with Maine, it was in Presque Isle. I was working in Auburn. That's a four and a half hour drive. Mm. Um, Ouch. I had a week's vacation canceled to go spend three days, three and a half days in Presque Isle getting them FDA compliant because yeah. because they produced or uh, they, they bottled CO2 and the CO2 mm-hmm. was used in like soda machines and stuff while well, the FDA had oh, had decided yeah, had that because their... it's used in soda it's now a food it's ingredient under their purview. so it's yeah. under their purview and here's your compliance list no. So I had to go up, Jeez. do a complete inventory on everything, write all new SOPs, look at all their equipment, do a bunch of calibrations, the whole nine yards. And I'm like, well, what about my vacation? They go, well, are you doing anything important? I'm like, I was taking a week off. Well, we need you to go do this. But I just said I was taking a week off. It's been scheduled. Yeah, but it's not like you had any plans for your vacation, so go do this. Really? <sighs> really? Yeah. And then my boss at the time said, as compensation, here's four tickets to Funtown. Sorry for canceling two of your vacations this year. So so you give me $100 worth of theme park tickets that my kids can't go on any of the stuff there as compensation for canceling two vacations. Yeah. Yeah, try again. Uh, all right, gentlemen. I'm gonna try to get me a little bit of sleep before uh, yep. we have to go. So. All right, there. Uh, all right, Yosho. We'll catch you later, bud. Get some sleep. See you, Yosho. Take, take care, Yosho. All right, I'll take it easy, guys. Yep. So yeah, that was one of the reasons that I was starting to do construction on the side and stuff like that. I've been ref- um, refurbishing a, a house my mother had bought. I was completely redoing the interior, so not only was I working 45 <laughs> hours a week there, I was working like 50 hours a week, nights and weekends, redoing my mother's house. My house. Yeah. And then I've got all kinds of people that my mother knows that were looking at the pictures and looking at all the stuff I was doing and going, well, we've got work for you if you're interested. How much do you charge? And before you know it, I've got like a dozen different people lined up waiting in the wings with work. So I'm like, you know what? Mm. What the heck? I'll give it a shot. Yep. And, uh, yeah, I ended up going out on my own, and that's when my back gave out, doing my... doing that stuff. <laughs> As a matter of fact... Let's see... Uh, Shaw Hill Road... Nope, that's not it. Uh... Why can't I think of the name of it? That's Curtis Hill Road. That's not it. It's New Auburn, Martha Ave. Why can I not see those other ones? Oh, there it is. Rodmar Road. I thought I had more photos of Mar- Rodmar Road. Uh, yeah, this was like some of the work I did inside my mother's house. New deck, new door, new windows. This was the kitchen. The living room, all of those windows eventually came out. Uh, the deck I built on the house. The new windows, new sheetrock in the front. All new sheetrock in the hallway. Uh, this was uh, one of the bedrooms I had to take an entire wall out because it had six layers of... Uh, that wall had to come out. It had six layers of... Sh- of um... oh, what is it there? Wallpaper. Uh, new 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 ceiling in the living room, so I could put in uh, overhead light and all that stuff because they had switched outlets for lights. Uh, the kitchen coming back together. Uh, new closets, completely gutted and redid the bathroom. Kitchen after the floor was finished. Oh, nice. The living room. Yeah, there was, I mean, I, I completely redid, like, this was in the basement that was a little dusty, but I, I studded out all the walls and sheetrocked all the, the walls in the basement. I built a utility room and sheetrocked all that in around the furnace and stuff. 
new staircase into the basement. It used to have a spiral staircase, so I actually had to stretch out the floor. Um, and because they'd taken out a closet, and originally this house had a it was over here on this wall. They had a staircase down into the basement over here, and I got pulled out by the previous owner, and a spiral staircase was put in. But the spiral staircase was so small, you couldn't even walk down it. So I I cut out the whole floor. You can see here, I cut out this whole floor. I redid all the supports underneath with all kinds of new 2x10s. Uh, put in a brand new staircase. Uh, completely redid the insulation in the basement, added closets. Underneath the staircase, I put in a closet. I had to redo the closet in this room because part of it went away for that. So there's now a big storage space here, closet there. I don't have a lot of the updated photos, but I built in a custom... Uh, uh, there's a bunch of shelves built in here now. Yeah, that was that was one place I did. Uh, I used to do all kinds of stuff. Um, let's see. Can I find the retaining wall I did that's what really did my back in? Um, Ursusa. Ursusa. Ursusat? Kaladin? One, two, three. Apologize if I butchered that. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the channel. How are you doing this morning? Uh, as long as you can get the vacation or money eventually. Yeah, and that's what happened, Jeff, is they canceled it and they allowed they they did it later on. You're playing closed, they never paid you for you ouch. Uh doesn't seem right. Yeah, kitchen looks right. Thank you, Jaron. Um yeah, I, I did a lot of work for my mother there, and it saved her a ton of money, which is why I had no problem doing it, you know. I mean, she paid me a little bit, but I did uh, a lot of work there. Scorpion DK Gaming, thank you for that follow. Welcome to the channel. How are you doing today? Um, here's another place I did. I had to build a custom frame and a cedar outdoor wood-fired sauna. Ooh, nice. Yeah, nice little spot. That that deck was all redone by me. All the concrete you see there was done by me. I did a ton of work in that place. All the floors. Uh, let's see. Where is it? The... Okay, here is the retaining wall I did. That is 58,000 pounds of concrete block. That's a lot of concrete Oof. block. And this is the retaining wall. It ended up being seven and almost eight feet tall in this corner. 23 yep. ton of backfill. Oh, fill. it's pre-engineered stone. Yep, yep. pre-engineered stone. Uh, locks together with little fiberglass pins. That's uh, uh, 23 ton of crushed gravel and 23 ton of three-quarter dents for packing over the top of it. And, and nice. filling the bases in. That's actually my oldest son there. He was helping me out that summer. I even put in a drainage tile underneath it. Coming out. Then I added a second one there. Yeah. Yeah, you need to have drainage there. Otherwise, it's going to blow mm -hmm. out. Oh, yeah. Because all that water's got to go somewhere. So... Well, and then I had this patio area under here I did, because I worked for this guy for a long time doing different jobs. I completely concreted all that in. Uh, then I laid in all of this block. Added nice. concrete there. Cut all of that block. In and around, up the steps. I think I did a little bit of work. Just a tad. <laughs> Just a tad. Yeah, yeah. When it got wet, it, when it got wet down, look at that. That was. Yeah. And then coming up the steps. 
all of that was cut. I, I bought one tile saw for that whole job, and I, I got my money's worth, I'd say. Oh, yeah, a lot of times, and then, and then you have the tile saw. I mean, that's how I got the... Uh, I have a grade rod laser for uh, mm-hmm. checking grade on stuff like that. I had to do a buddy septic yep. system, and they said, we're going to need this one. It's like, which one do you want? It's like, okay, just get that one. It's like, as partial payment for it, it's like, here you go. It's just like, ooh, that's like an $800 tool. Thank you. Like <laughs> Power. <laughs> I'm doing pretty good. Yeah, but that that was when my back finally gave out was doing all of that. Yeah, that's that's not fun work. Because I I moved all of that block by hand, you know, over the course of uh, <laughs> over the course of uh what was it like a month doing all of that block? It came out it came out good, but man was it a lot of work. And all of all of the backfill material had to be wheelbarrowed in because there was too much there was not enough room in the driveway to get in with a piece of equipment. Oh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, the retaining wall stones were ninety pounds apiece. Yeah. And that big wall had two hundred and seventeen stone in it. Yeah. That was a lot of work. So, yeah, and, and then of course the back gives out. I'd have issues to deal with, and then the homeowner says, "Well, I think you're faking it." <laughs> sure, 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 faking it. Whatever. But uh, I'm trying to move on and keep positive, and hopefully someday they'll find a combination of medication that will help make yeah. my back uh, easier to to walk around and stuff and in the meantime I've got thousands of dollars worth of tools sitting in my garage that well now I'm slowly selling them off because I'll never use them again as a matter of fact later today I've got a guy coming by to buy some of those tools at least they'll go to uh, somebody that's going to use them that's how I see it. Yeah. No. Mm, pardon me. Yeah. Yeah. It was it was tough too because I mean I I had so many people wanting to get work out of me because everybody said I did fin- phenomenal work and it's like all right well you know it's I take my time I do it right I do it the best I can. Uh, yeah. And yeah, it just. It was tough to to have to let it go, but physically I just can't do it anymore. Trying to trying to sheet rock, mud, tape, do any of that stuff was it's almost impossible now because I, I I start to lose feeling in my fingers if I have my arms up like this for more than a few minutes. Oh, that's not fun. Yeah. Yeah, trying to carry a a, a, a hawk, which is one of those flat, you know, 12 inch square yep. pads with with uh, joint compound on it and and doing taping ten minutes later my arms are numb at my side yep. <clears throat> not fun back issues for sure yeah and and of course I, c- I could have tried to find people to work for me and and just become the contractor to take care of all of that stuff but then yep. I've got all of the issues of Staff. do they do good yep. work? Am I constantly having to sit there and hound over them because they're slacking off? Are they worth their money? I just didn't want to deal with it. It's like you know, because then if they screw something up, it's me. The whole nine yards. Yep. It's it was it was it would have been Henry. You're right. So I was like, you know what? I'll just I'll take the hit and it is what it is. Uh, who ate my face cake? Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the channel. How are you doing this morning? I do believe I heard the dog moving, which means my wife should be waking up for work. As a matter of fact, uh, oh, that's right. Nope, she's off today. My bad. I'm going to close this door again because I'm going to let her sleep. Otherwise, she will be very, very angry with me. I forgot she's off today. Thank you. Good. Thanks. Just started playing Farm Sim. Nice. How are you liking it so far? And did you play FS19 before 
this version. That's right. I was I was wondering why I hadn't heard my wife already an hour ago because uh, it's Sunday. She usually starts her work week, but now I'm remembering she's got the day off. As it is my oldest's 16th birthday today. Angry wife is never fun. Definitely wise move closing the door. Let her sleep. Yep. Yes. Never played any of them before. You love it. You're very intent, though. I can relate to that. I am just now trying to start climbing my way out of that hole. Um... I'm, I'm a very bad farm manager, though. Every time I start to get money, instead of paying off the $500,000 loan I have, I buy more stuff. Yep. I know that way. See, every time I start to try and pay stuff off... Oh, nope, I done it now. I did wake my wife up. The light just come on. <sighs> uh -oh. Sorry. Oh, okay. I've been told I was fine. I did not want to be on the wife's bad side this morning. Alright, these cheap harvesting contracts, I'm just going to cancel to get them out of my list. Because I don't feel like doing them. This fertilizing field 9 is a decent one, though. These ones I'm going to call, grab and cancel as well, just to get them out of my list. These couple of cultivating contracts I'm going to grab and cancel to get them out of my list. There we go. Now, now, now... My contracting pricing mod is kicking in. How do you like that there, mod scurvy? Nice. Awesome. $32,000 to cultivate. Cotton field 10. Yes, I will accept that contract and borrow the items. That's a good one to do. Um... The only contract, the only harvesting contracts, Dadson, that was having an issue are wheat, barley, and oat. Any of the ones that drop straw because it's miscalculating um, the yield. It's adding the straw yield into the contract price. Um, and that means you never actually get enough product to finish the contract. If you're on PC, you can go into your mission file, adjust down the contract expected yield to complete them if you want. But not everybody's on PC, I understand that. Um, Cat and J. Morgan, 25, thank you for that follow. Welcome to the channel. How are you doing this morning? Um, <clears throat> you're under 300k at the moment, kind of waiting for your harvest season. Not too much to do at the moment. Nice, nice. I do have to buy this stuff for sugar beet, because I have a sugar beet field to do that I'm not going to... It's not a big deal, I'll buy it. Um... I am going to start picking up some of these fertilizing contracts and stuff like that. Uh, this cultivating contract, I'm going to borrow the items and I'm going to set that worker to it, especially since it's right there. Um, I'm not going to do the corn and soybeans. The field one fertilizing, I'm already heading to field nine. It's in the area. I'll grab that one. Uh, the wheat and the barley, I will hold off on for the time being. I'm going to get out of this guy's way. Glad to hear it there, Digital. <laughs> Glad to hear it. This guy needs to go to field 20... No, field... Which one? 10. Oh, 10, yes, the big one. Alright, so he needs to drive himself up to field 10, which is way up here. I know you're blocked. I'm moving. Hurry. I'm working on it. Don't rush me. I will drive you on up there as well. Y'all should take off at some point here. Well, the workers are in them, so I'm assuming... 
as soon as whatever is blocking those objects gets out of the way. Oh, they give me a 95, 70. Nice. I'm doing good. Always nice to see a streamer with a great beard. Well, thank you there, mate. I appreciate it. I have been growing this beard now for almost two years. Two and a half, uh, almost three years. Sorry, two and a half years. Uh, it started out in memory of my nephew, who tragically passed way too young. And I've decided at this point I'm going to keep it and see if I can't join the likes of ZZ Top. Or Gandalf. Either way, I think it's a good choice. I'm in good company either way. Really? You are a pain in the butt there, Mr. JCB. Target is unreachable. Really? Really, guy? Unreachable, you say? Vamanos, Mr. Dude in the green sweatshirt. Come on. You can do it. I believe in you. Fine, you can't do it. I'll do it myself. At least if you're harvesting, you can keep going. Oh, I hate... Now I remember why I hate these things. They go so slow. Uh, farming Sim 2022 is going fantastic, Nuke. Uh, I am loving it. Using the vehicle control add-on, which gives guidance, which is like GPS, which gives guidance line. Yes, I am also using VCA. I am. I may not be on the most up-to-date version, but I am enjoying it. Uh, it's definitely filling the hole until uh, Wobster's GPS comes, guidance steering. Um, I may continue to use this one instead of that, because it works well for even being able to use it on contracted equipment. So, um, yeah, um, go for the Vandal Gandalf look, appreciate it, Captain, uh, appreciate the sympathies, uh, it, it was very sad to deal with, uh, but I like to think that he's looking down over us, and, uh, I don't know Spanish, Jaren, so if I did, it's completely coincidence. Uh, yes, the combines are slow. Um, I agree, Nuke. And as far as the mixed emotions, they come from two camps. There's people that were hardcore Farm Sim 19 players that absolutely loved the changes in 2022. They improved so many systems in 2022. It's it's a a massive improvement in so many ways. There are a lot of people that are upset we haven't gotten patches for some of the bugs. But when you look at the cross-play and then you understand that Microsoft, Sony, and Giants all have to be on the same page across all platforms, you start to understand why it's taken so long to get that patch. Because everybody has to be on the same version for cross-play to work. So... It will unfortunately slow down some of those some of those patches. Um, there have been some issues. Oh, good to know there, Jaron. I'll probably forget, but good to know. I, I appreciate it. Uh, so there's that side of things. Uh, there is also ooh, my wife opened the closet door and now it's cold. Burr, little heater. Come on, do your work. Um, there is also a lot of people that look at the streams or the YouTube videos and go, well, it doesn't look any better than 19, but that doesn't really come across in a stream. You guys are looking at this in 720p, 1080, whatever it might be. I think I only stream at 720. I do that to help uh, those on mobile and stuff like that to be able to watch. 
or with poor internet connections. Um, so when you consider all of that, the graphics are actually way better. The increased ground textures, the particle effects, the uh, the way the crops, the trees, the plants look is way better than they used to be. The game runs way better. I took a wrong turn. Uh, way better than it ever used to. And things like that, well, now you've got your haters and your trolls that just poo-poo everything about the game because that's just how it is. So it, it's, it's really unfortunate that so many people just, like, hate on the game for what it is. When if you look at it, it really is an impressive increase in the game over previous versions. And it doesn't get the credit it needs, you know. Anyone had an issue with planting sugarcane? Is it the planter misses spot? It jumps as it plants. Um, sugarcane planting can be a bit of a pain in the butt. Um, just because the planter's not that great. Uh, well, exactly, Fat Jeff. Every game has them, but it's like something about this game really brings the trolls out of the woodwork to, to, to hate on the game, which I don't get it. You know, I mean, the game's pretty decent. It's, it runs so much better than 19 ever did. And people are like, well, yeah, but we don't have mods. Yeah, well, when 19 first came out, you didn't have mods for the first little bit. Give it time. You know, I mean, Jesus, the game's been out two weeks. It, it, it takes time. <laughs> but everybody's like, no, I want it now. Which, unfortunately, is um, kind of the way of a lot of things nowadays. Everybody wants that instant gratification. Which is unfortunate. Uh, one more row over. I will set a worker off and see how he does. This is a funky shaped field. But I've got to get to my other plant, other vehicle and go empty the sugar beet harvest. Nope. Your inner troll hates the game, Henry. Why is that, bud? Why does your inner troll not like the game? This is just for you there, Digital. I know you're out there lurking. The park vehicle mod? Yeah. Uh, I want to get 22 right now, but it's a bit expensive. Got other stuff you got money to spend on right now. Yep. Because you can't find nothing bad to say about it. Well, there are some... There... Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not a huge fanboy that's going to say everything with the game is all great. And, um... well, can't, can you say that Sony sucks? Well, yes. I'm saying it. It's not Giant's fault that Sony can't get their head out of their behind side. Yeah, and, and I mean, that's I, the reason I, why we don't have a patch is because of Sony. So, it's not that we can't wait for a patch. It's let's blame where blame is, needs to go. Yeah, I'm. And at at the same time, I there are some gripes I have about the game. You know, you come into the construction menu, which is vastly improved over 19. First off, but then you have all these fantastic, lovely buildings, right? You've got all these fantastic buildings. Harmon and, you know, all these nice detailed buildings that you can use. And what do they build into the maps? A bunch of buildings you can't open or put anything in. Where's all these nice, awesome buildings you made? You know, all of these fantastic animal farm, a a animal pens and buildings. Well, wh where, where where are any of those built into the maps? You know, it, it's like... Oh, exactly. I mean, you can change the color of these things. Like, come on. Wh why, co why couldn't you put any of these into the map? Or make it so more of the buildings can be demolished out of the maps so we can place all of these fantastic buildings you give us. 
that's probably my one major complaint about the game so far. You know, I, I love the maps. They um, they do work pretty well. Uh, I understand why they went with a lot of smaller fields on Elm Creek um, and, and on some of the other maps. Uh, the way they've done the economy, it is a much more difficult economy to play on. Um, it does. It is more of a, a marathon, not a sprint in this game, which I actually enjoy. Uh, there were too many maps that because you could just plant, harvest, plant, harvest, plant, harvest. Before you know it, you own the whole map, and it's like this is boring. I, I, it's it's too repetitive. I like they added productions. Uh, you know that it makes a a really nice change to the game. Uh, so they, they added a lot of really good things, but they really kind of dropped the ball on the building side of it. Uh, if I had to rate it, though, I'd still say it's a 9.2, 9.3 out of 10. There's a few bugs. It happens. I, I've i seen games that were in much, birth, much worse shape at launch than this game. Um, <laughs> Cyberpunk 2077. Um, so... I think they actually pretty well nailed this one out of the park. I just wish Sony would get their head out of their butt. And this is coming from a fan of Sony. I've always had a Sony system since they started making them. Um, and, you know, here they are holding up stuff for everybody. They they need to pull their head out of their butt, as X-Man said. Uh, you know, it, it's... Or Giants needs to make it known that... Uh, hey, there's going to be some issues with cross-play while we get some of these initial bugs sorted out because of what's going on. I, I enjoyed Cyberpunk quite a bit digital myself. I thought it was really cool. Uh, I did enjoy it. Uh, I didn't really have too many issues myself. But there, I, I did see and understand a lot of the issues that came with Cyberpunk. There were a lot of bugs. There were a lot of issues. It wasn't ready when they released it. Um, and I think it definitely hurt the game. So, yeah, I mean, I'm, I I see this map as temporary until Dave's is that ready, as Jaren just said. I see your stretch, Dads, and I'll get it in just a second. Um, so, I'm still enjoying this a lot, you know? Uh... uh as a matter of fact, I probably have slacked off a little bit from from digital, but I'm still pushing 138 hours on this single-player save. Uh, so, I'm going to get that stretch in for you there, Dodson. I do appreciate that redeem. Oh, Shy Wizard coming in with a follow. Thank you, bud. How are you doing today? I appreciate that follow. Oh, that hurt. I shouldn't, have cracked my, I shouldn't have cracked my back. That's going to feel bad in a minute. Never helps with the arthritis when you actually crack your back because it makes the swelling increase. <clears throat> I appreciate that stretch, Dadson. And good morning there, Shy Wizard. Well, it looks like the worker is full. I am gonna. I've decided I'm gonna have to get my wife on Twitch with an account, so she can so she can come in and chat every now and then, whether she likes it or not. It's gonna happen. <laughs> um. Yeah, I, I mean, at least Cyberpunk, they didn't just leave it as it was. They did continue to develop it. They are trying to, to make amends. So I, I I applaud them for that. So, you know, it's... It's unfortunately one of those releases that just... That's how it ended up happening. Oh, nice. How are you enjoying it so far there, Shy? <laughs> ah, it's possible, Digital. 
I, I applaud your effort, though. It, it is impressive how many hours you've got in the game. I, I just I just left the dude. How is he already at 80%? Uh, you hit a wall with one you're trying to work on. You went back to playing more. <laughs> uh, what are you trying to work on, Digital, that you run into a wall? There's a lot of modders in here that might be able to help you get past it. We know a thing or two because we've seen a thing or two. Oh, I put in a... I misspelled that. I'm going to have to go fix that later. Renders perfect in editor, but in game it's nothing but a blank rendered plane. Oh yeah, you were trying to add a graphic to something, weren't you? The the starter farm is a bit cramped, Shy, you're not wrong. We most likely won't cure. See? See, I hate it when you spell something right so it doesn't actually show as an error. But it's the wrong word. I did add the FSAA command, though. <laughs> nice. Yep, yep. I, I did get to a lot of my little notes from the 24-hour stream. I didn't get any of the beard rewards in yet, though. I, I think I'm going to do something for that uh, a little different. Not sure how well it's going to work, though. Oof! Sorry, Mr. Harvester guy. Wow, really? Yeah, the French map is a bit more spacious than the, um, the Um Creek map. A lot of people say the same thing, Dadson. Um, it's almost like they got them backwards. But, after hearing some of the issues with the French map over the American map, I'm glad I started on the American map. And I started on Farm Manager instead of Start from Scratch, so I'm down in the southwest corner there. You having fun using the new Pete you got from Winston to transport s seed and fertilizer? Nice. Nice. Um, this modded truck with the um, water trailer is actually pretty decent. Um... This set of tires, I think, will make things a little bit easier with the water trailer. I set the friction scale on them pretty high. I don't know if that's where Fummins will keep it or not when he finishes adding them to his, but... <laughs> the, the lamp posts, yep, yep. You downloaded the Western Star? Yeah, I really like it. I can't wait for Fummins to put his update out so you guys can all uh, enjoy it. Oh, he hasn't actually dropped a bill yet. Okay, never mind. Never mind, I thought he might have dropped a bail. This guy's just a churning away, getting ready to make me some big money on that contract. Not going to take the cultivating field, too. That one I'll accept. The wheat and the barley on 23 and 24. They are side by side. Field 30, I'll accept that contract. I'm definitely accepting the field 68 and the 57. And I guess I'll accept 69 and 70 cultivating contracts. 53 corn. No, I really don't want that one. Okay, so let's jump into 
this one here, I have sewing on 28. Oh, did the sewing ones just disappear on me? I think they did. Uh, Jumbo Drill, thank you for that follow. Welcome to the channel. How are you doing this morning? Uh, where is the... Ah, ha, 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 ha. They did, they did, they did. So much for that. That's what I get. They just up and disappeared as soon as I accepted them. I hate it when that happens once in a while. Mm hmm. Oh, no, I never accepted them. Silly goose. 23 and 24. Sewing contracts. Oh, one second, everybody. Happy birthday to the old guy. Uh... Good morning there, son. Good morning, Dad. My, my family's getting used to me having a camera now. Certain things not allowed on camera. Kids in... Pajamas? Eh, go get dressed first. Then if you want to come say hi, you can come say hi. Uh, ba -dum -ba -ba. Mm, wrong DDS. Uh, the in-game one seems to have trouble pulling them on. Yes, the in-game trucks have a low friction scale set on their tires, so they all seem to have trouble. Um, should download the Pete. It's the best Pete you've ever used in a game. Nice. I'll have to check that one out. Oh, what was a PNG that Giants converted to? Maybe I'll try it with the same image. All the rigs are kind of broken. Yep, the friction scale. Exactly. If you need help, just uh, appreciate it. Awesome. See? See ya? That's why I asked, Digital. There's a lot of people here that know a thing or two, because we've seen a thing or two. I'm going to keep appropriating that. It's just going to happen. Are you going to make it? You have a worker in you. I think it will. Drop that there. Go grab the old cultivator. For a contract or three. Make sure I grab the right piece of equipment, though. Not used to people actually being willing to help other games. Yes, uh, there are a lot of games when it comes to modding. They just... Nope. But the farm sim community, like I said, and I, I said it a lot in my other stream in my stream the other day, but I'll keep continue to say it. This community is awesome. You guys are amazing. Just your your willingness to to chit chat, have fun, hang out, and watch this mug play a video game is is impressive. I applaud you all, and I appreciate you all. Uh, but also your willingness to help others with answering questions, helping with mods, helping them learn. It, it really is something nice and I think almost unique about this community is that we just all have this willingness to help and, and hang out with each other. Where am I? I gotta get into this vehicle here. Now you can squeeze in. You have to look up there. Yeah, you have to duck. I'm down here. See, camera in the corner. Look at the screen. A camera is screen. There we go. <laughs> this is my oldest. Say hi. Hi. He's the birthday kid. 16 Welcome today. Oldest. 16. Wow. Morning, yeah, kid. Happy when I was 16, Thanks. that was a few years ago. Yeah, yeah, I was a few a years ago. A lot closer me than me there, Scurvy. Jeez. <laughs> True. <laughs> right. Yep. You are the old fart, X Man. So. Yep. <laughs> Well, we can't forget Big Daddy's in here, too. I am. Yeah, but X-Man's older than Big Daddy, so... Yeah. <laughs> it's 
just a number. Because I'm not that old, but I feel really old. And I refuse to accept it. So I do what I can. Helper A is blocked by an object. I will get to you in a minute, Helper A. Good morning, Bodine. How are you today, sir? And thank you all for wishing my son a happy birthday. Now, if his copy of FS19 would ever show up, Best Buy, uh, he could join me. Mm. I'm hoping that it uh, will be here soon, or that I'll get a shipping information maybe starting tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow I'll get shipping information on it, because I did get an email concerning it uh, yesterday. Oh, you did? Uh, uh, yeah, I just just making sure everything was... Uh, the payment was going to process and everything else, so... Um, oh, I already prepaid mine, so I'll have to see. Well, yeah, but when you schedule the prepayment through Best Buy, they don't actually charge you until they ship it. Well, it was already paid through PayPal, though. Oh, see, you played, you paid through PayPal. Mm -hmm. I paid through, a, through yep. a credit card. So it was confirming everything was good to go. Yeah, go. Um, go which means now that the payment has been taken, it should ship shortly type of thing. Hopefully, so. Uh, I'm assuming because that came over the weekend, come Monday, I'll probably get shipping information on it. Probably. I hope. Because I'm not picking mine up at a store, it's being shipped to my house. No, same here. So. I am liking the fact that when I did both of these sugar beet contracts, it seemed to, it seemed to accept the harvest for both when dropping them off at the same location. I don't know if that was a bug or intended or what, but... Uh, do you think modders will eventually make straight Transcraft flatbed trailer too? Transcraft? Is that a brand? Retired truck, you know your Pete's? Nice. Nice. I know there's a lot of modders out there. I'm actually kind of, uh... Is it Juice UA? He popped in briefly the other day. I'm hoping I catch up with him again soon. He said he was working on a, uh... Uh, a mod for... Sh sugar beet harvesting? Kind of interested in seeing that. Uh, my truck is getting traction because these, uh... Obviously, it's a modified truck. But I set the friction scale on these tires to a higher amount than the base game truck, so it tends to uh, get traction quite well. Ah, it's Ooh. a... to tell you... Alright, that's cool, farmer. Um, oh, here comes the cat. Yep, shipping within the next few days for me. So I get, finally get my beacon light. Nice, yeah. Uh, do you think there'll be a focus on making mods cross-play compatible? I believe so. Um, uh, especially where they have on their mod hub now a spot that's specific to uh, cross-play compatible mods. You've got a selection for that now. Cat, what are you doing? What are you? Stop it! What are you doing? Cultivating field 32. What was 31? Fertilizing. Okay, so I will collect that mission to get rid of this. I will leave that one uncollected. Um, I also need to get into my sprayer. 23 and 24. 23 is sowing barley, so let's set this to barley. We will get into the tractor here. Ah, uh, because you play with mates on console or you're on PC, and that'd be a huge thing for some of the mods. I think you'll see a lot more mods car, um, compatible for for console this time around, especially where they've built in productions. 
it'll be a lot easier to keep um, servers cross-play friendly, I think, which will be a good thing for those people that want to do um, the cross-play side of things. <coughs> I know not everybody's going to want to because of scripted mods, things like that, but I think it will be a lot easier for people to keep in that way if that's what they want to do. You're working on a triple header for the Ropa. Yeah, see, the triple header's a little too cheaty. This one here was a... Oh, I can't remember the name of it. It was a something or another 2700. It started with an A. It was a 12-row beet harvester. But it's an actual harvester. He said he was making it in Blender and stuff like that. And I'm kind of interested to see if he's made any progress on it, because it was really, really cool. Amity 2700. This is what he was working on. Um, he said he had a front... Um, he had a, a front de defoliator for it. But this is what he was working on. It's a real beet harvester. 12 rows, it comes out to, uh, somebody said 7.2 meters or 7.3 meters, I don't remember exactly. But, uh, yeah, you can't call it cheaty if it's a real piece of equipment. No, Since that's almost twice as wide as the equipment we currently have in game. I, I'm, I'm wishing him luck on it, and I, I'm really hoping that it's, uh, something that gets released to the public when he's done it. Uh, GPS itself is not out yet, Hall Rock, but there is the vehicle control add-on, uh, exclamation VCA will get you the link to it, um, if you want to do that. Yeah, v VCA, there you go. All right, I have spraying contracts on 42 and 57. Let's get this thing filled back up with spray and go pick up those contracts. Apparently you were digital. That doesn't happen often. Billy must have been distracted. Oh, no, I didn't want to. I wanted to fill it, not unload it. Probably busy making a cup of coffee for that new coffee maker he just got picked up. <laughs> Probably <laughs> unpacking it. <laughs> unpacking it. The milk and eggs yeah. Or bread. Yeah. What else to go for? That's hilarious. I've done that before too. Yeah. That that is that is. I, I completely relate to that because I I have been there too. I yeah. I gotta go to the store. I gotta grab milk and bread. Come home with a bunch of groceries. Where's the milk and bread? Son of a. Bless you. Uh, that was my oldest sneezing in the other room there. Not a problem, Hall Rock. Uh, that's what we're here for. All right, 57 and 42. 57's over here, then I'll backtrack for 42. No, you know what? I'm going to go 42 first because it's on the way. Teaching your daughter to crash a Mahindra? God, that explains it. Nice. Well, you're doing what's important, Billy. I, I applaud you for teaching your daughter to crash a, a virtual machine. Right spot to be able to start this off. Yep, I sure am. She's better than you. <laughs> it happens, Billy. It happens. Well, 
morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How's it going? Uh, it goes into your documents, my games, Farming Simulator 2022, mods, if you installed to the standard install location. Not a problem, Hallrock. Alright, now it's getting a little bit warm in here. There we go. Turn that down just a touch. My late nights copped me yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Went to bed 6.30, didn't get up till 7 o'clock this morning. That's, um, that, that's catching up on lost sleep, I think. Yep, well, when you mod as much as I do, it happens. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, I, I've... I kind of did something similar there after my 24-hour. I went to sleep about 9.30 and went, oh, hey, it's 6.30 in the morning. Look at that. Why have they not released anything about that awesome trailer that they had at the beginning of their FSL last night? Okay. Looking at Monday schedule here, guys, we got a gap from 8 a.m. to noon. I got it. Okay. I don't know how to put myself on the calendar, but I'll get it. Okay, cool. And then Kids. I rearrange some of my times in the morning to fill in more holes there for it for... Yeah, the, the only time I can't do a morning schedule is Tuesdays and Thursdays because that's when I have to drive my oldest to school uh, gotcha. at 6.30, but I'm home by 7.30ish. So. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right there, Jaron. You have a good one at work. Appreciate you coming and hanging out, bud. Jesus. I'll put the tag axle down. Why not? I'm already updating my Pete already. <laughs> you are? Nice. Yeah, no, they want wheel options, and I had the uh, uh, Cat C680 and uh, 19 that had the uh, wheel options when they had the chains on the wheels for an option. Oh, yeah. So I'm, I'm bringing them over to my Pete, but <clears throat> where it had uh, an extra axle option on the back, it's triple axle, I have to remove two lines out of every one of the wheel <laughs> options. Yeah. Yeah, I had to do a bunch of stuff with this uh, this Western Star to get some of the the wheel stuff working right with these Trelleborgs, but I think it come out pretty nice. Yeah, I like to look at the Trelleborgs on it. I might put that as one of the options as well, just so that I don't get that the uh, can't find the wheel XML file in my mods at the same time. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, because you've got to have one of the stock wheel types is there that first line there yeah I'm also trying to get the um, the train to load in that 16 X map from the map because I converted over my um, three act or my triple truck uh, uh, locomotive that I did the um, support our troop skin on mm -hmm. in 19 and I can't I try I tried moving the line from the placeable over to the items and now it's saying if I need a class uh, class uh, function or something listed in the front of the line, I still haven't only get the train to load from the map itself. Because I'm also adding in my my container car I made too, the one that holds the, the 40 foot cans. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, I, I remember you saying that. Account. I remember you saying that now. Um, yeah, that would. I don't know. I haven't really done much with the map editing, but I'm sure somebody's messed around with the trains and it's in chat or around to be able to help out with that. Unless they changed a bunch with it for 22, which is entirely possible as well. And I did get my four textures non-shiny after I used uh, the same gravel uh, normal file that um, Dave told me to use. And, uh, and, I, and I just got to figure out how they did the normal file so I can create my the, the proper normal file for the textures. Um, speaking of that, there was a mod... Uh, released as a tool for modders on fs22mods.com uh, fill types uh, basically they set up something like 20 or 22 different uh, tip to ground fill types for construction and mining as a resource for modders to be able to pull into their maps 
and add them in as fill planes. And it comes with all the bit settings you need for ha having them tip to the ground, uh, covering a range of like two different kinds of river sand, uh, concrete, tires, and all kinds of different stuff. It might be worth checking out because then you can pull a bunch of them in and just retext, you know, change the texture images. But it'll have everything there you need to. No, I'll have to go get that now because no, I want to have sand, gravel, and coal. Because I'm, well, I want to have coal as a power source for some of the factories. Yep. Um, like I did in 19, and I always have sand and gravel in there because I always have the concrete and cement plants. So. Yep. Yeah. I mean, they they had uh, cement as a as a tip to ground. They had uh, a bunch of different sands, gravels, uh, like lithium, and all kinds of different stuff in there. So. Uh, yeah, I, know, I know. I know. Most of the time, the FT, uh, F, uh, the French crowd usually gets uh, their TP uh, mods out pretty quick, but I don't. I haven't seen any of them yet. Yeehaw, Duke's a hazard. So you said that was on F, was the FS22mods.com, was it? Yep. Uh, as a matter oh. of fact, I've sent the link to a few people, so if you give me just a second, I but, can pull it up direct. Yeah, one of the trailers I'm converting is uh, for hauling the Ropa and uh, Tiger, and that, it's, it can actually haul... Um, it can actually haul the Tiger with the header on it in full length, and you can also make it a, a wide trailer, too. Nice. I sent you that link direct right there. And, um, yeah, this is it right here. Uh, it, it's yeah, basically a French, file. Yeah, that's the French crowd. Yep. TP mod. Yeah, that's the, that's the French crowd. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I mean, they, they released it. I'm glad I came across it because it gives you basically everything. They tell you how to do it, and they they've got like 20-something different textures in there. You know, take take what you want, leave what you don't, and and, and I think so on. Be that's for 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 a dump, garbage dump. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I I love the fact that, you know, again speaking to the fact that the community is so helpful for modding and stuff like that. How many communities do you know that would make a resource like that and then put it out for anybody else to add it into their maps, and mods, and just saying like, hey, you know. Let, let's let's do this. I think that's you know that's really cool of the modding community in general is being able to put together these resources for one another to help make better mods as a community. Oh, don't do the start stop thing. Just stay put. Give me your product, and I'll get out of your way. I hate that particular ropa. There, get out of his way, do that. Now I need to go catch up with this guy here. You should be done. Start you up. I can collect on that. You didn't finish spraying 42. Really? There's going to be one little itty bitty spot in that field, isn't there? Yep, far edge of the field. I figured. 99%. Well, 42 and 57 earlier were bugged. They wouldn't let me spray the field. I'd accepted them. I got to the field, and it wouldn't let me spray them. So I'm glad they actually came back up. There, that one's complete now, so I can collect on that contract. I have done a lot of contracts. Now I gotta get over to 57, start that field. After I do that, I will go set my cultivator back up and working. Fifty-three must be a harvesting of corn. Do I want to pick that contract up or not? I guess it's going to depend on where it's going. If it's going to the cereal factory, I'm not picking up that contract because the cereal factory was full and I couldn't put anything in it and it's annoying. So.
Don't give me that. I've got access. Just take my f weeding stuff and leave me be. You don't want to work on that angle? Fine. I will do it on this angle. Go. Uh, you can never work out what speed to play at. You kind of want to play in real time. Um, on 22, a lot of it's going to depend on um, like how many day months you're running. Um, face cake. I'm running a six day month. Uh, I slowed time down because I had so many contracts. Um, I think they are Bodine. I really do. Uh, but normally, yep, Serial Factory, you're not getting done. Sorry, just no. Um, normally I run time six speed, six day uh, months. It works out to about a one time real, uh, real time, one X real time speed. So I'm I'm happy with that. It works. Um, and then times like this where I have all of a sudden a whole bunch of contracts to do, I just slow time down and bust out the contracts. You were, uh, thinking about a dedicated server so that the game carries on when you're not playing, but don't all seems excessive. Well, the great thing about this game is you can slow it down when you need to, but you can also sleep any time of the day. So if there's nothing for you to do, you can always just sleep till the next day. Um, the, the only thing I'd say about doing a server is if you want to be able to play with a bunch of other people. If you want to be able to play with other people, then a dedicated server is, is an excellent way to do it. Um, but if you're just going to continue to play mostly solo, uh, just adjust your speed as you need. If you need to go through time, speed it up. If you've got things to do, slow it down. Um, the thing I like about the six-day months, in my case... I still got a ton of bales left over here from the other day, or from the other contract I did earlier. Um, you know, you can always just turn around and speed things up if you have to, or slow them down. How do you get to grow gra grass to grow on a space that you landscape? All right, one second there, Nanak, and I will show you. Um, let me get these bales dropped off. So when you go into your landscaping tool, get in the right menu first. Under landscaping, you've got your painting, which will get you the ground textures. And then under plants, you have the meadow. The meadow is what you need to use to get the grass that actually grows. And then you've got your flowers and all those lovely bushes you like so much, Nanak. Look at all of the different bushes they gave you. They even gave you the cho choice of planting all of these different trees. <laughs> I know, Nanak. You hate them, but I wanted to point them out anyway. Did you know, Nanak, that you can buy this lovely little tractor up here in forestry equipment called the Raptor? And on the front of that Raptor, you know what? I'm going to do this. I'm going to show it off the right way. On the front of this Raptor, you can put this little unit. And this little unit will mulch all of those bushes into oblivion and just turn them into mulched ground it'll make a field out of them while you're mulching them into oblivion this was just for you Nanak they said that Nanak guy hates bushes we want to give him a piece of equipment to obliterate the bushes 
Send them, send them uh, right back to oblivion. So they gave you this. Enjoy, sir. This one is done. Harvesting, harvesting. Why did my sowing of 23 not finish? Must have been alongside the uh, tree line that it didn't get done. Let's go investigate. Yep, right up here. There it is. Dave's painting all kinds of bushes into his new map for you, Nanak. Yeah, I know a lot of people don't like the bushes and stuff, but I think it gives the map a bit more detail. I think it does, too. It gives it more detail. It brings it more to life, I think. Um, and on top of that, it also... Um, it, it, it They really are pretty decent-looking bushes. They're, it's not like they're just not detailed or anything like that. They've They did a pretty good job with them, I think. Good morning, MacGyver. How are you doing today, sir? <laughs> yeah, I thought you might like that little tool to get rid of them there, uh, Nanak. Alright, field sewing. I'm going to collect on that. I'm not going to finish these two contracts yet. I want to make sure I get all of the... I really hate this worker. Why are you not picking up the field edges? You were so good before. But I do like it where they got it now. You can actually remove the bushes now. Yeah, you can just paint through them with the grass or whatever or whatever. Well, what we used to do in the previous versions was go into the folder where all the all the height file or uh, the weight files or two, and there was always an image that was what um, when the grass grew, it showed the flowers in the grass. We used to change the image so that we would have grass but no flowers. <laughs> ah, there you go. But you can't do that in this one because the file's not there. <laughs> okay. 99%. What part of the field did it not get for the weeds? Oh, that big corner up there. Do you not get the option to refresh contracts in multiplayer? I don't know if that mod actually works in multiplayer or not, Phil. Uh, I haven't done any testing on it because I only have played single player. Um... Biblio Techno coming in with the follow. Thank you very much. I hope we didn't keep Yosho up too long for you today. Does not work in multiplayer. That's unfortunate. At least it doesn't on your dedicated server. That's a bummer. That's a new Phil. How you doing? Welcome, Biblio. Oh. How you doing? <laughs> Nothing seems to work in multiplayer. Yeah, that's the unfortunate part of multiplayer. Some things just don't like being on servers. Uh, if you uh, you want to plan on going about 8 o'clock there, Big Daddy? Oh, whatever, man. Yeah, no rush. You no, I mean, I, man and... I, I know you were originally on the schedule for 8, and I was just making sure we filled in to have uh, coverage, and 
It is my kid's birthday, so I want to spend some time with the family and the kids today. So, eight eight yeah, o'clock works for me. If uh, you want to be ready for then. Sure, man. Sounds good. Absolutely. Not like I haven't streamed a lot lately. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad. He's a he's a really great guy. Him, Danny, it, it's even Spencer. Uh, I think Yosho's been a really great um, addition to the SGA. Uh, hopefully one day we'll get Spencer in here too and continue to grow the family. Good morning. Good morning, St. Louis. How's morning, going, everybody. Thank you for that, Billy. Appreciate it. Anybody that didn't come over with Yosho's raid earlier, do make sure you go give him a, a, a look and give him a follow. He is a great streamer, newest member of the SGA, um, and re really fun to watch. Really interacts well with the community, which I think is an important quality in a, in a streamer. Nice. Glad to hear it, Dadson. Glad to, glad to have you in the... In the community. Alright, that should be my last spraying. I have a bunch of fertilizing contracts, so let me switch this over to fertilizing. How's it going there, Mick Gaming? Ooh, I caught the tree. Get this thing filled up here. I guess it's time to buy some more, uh... More fertilizer. Thanks for that, Billy. Also, make sure you go over, check out Odwalla Gaming. Spencer. Uh, does a lot of streaming with Yosho. Another really great guy. You hear him in our streams, chatting, hanging out. Uh, him and, uh... Yosho do a lot of multiplayer stuff. Multi-streams. Definitely worth going to give him a follow as well. 24 is a sewing contract. Let's collect on that. I will go collect that piece of equipment in a minute. This guy here, however, has to drive himself all the way up over here. And I'm going to set the worker to do that while I go finish up some of this over here. Uh, also, for those that weren't here for my 24-hour stream or haven't heard yet, I am planning, uh, and my goal is to do a 24-hour stream for every 500 follows I get. I just finished doing the one for the 500 follower, uh, Thursday into Friday, and if you look at the top of the screen, you'll see I've got the goal running up there. Uh, we're already up to 713, it looks like. Uh, as long as it's been kept accurate, so there will be a 24-hour stream coming up quite soon if it continues at this rate. Um, I think it's been great with this Pharma Simulator. This, it's brought a lot of new people into the community and to Twitch, and uh, it's really great to have you all. Obviously, if anybody has any questions related to Farming Simulator, do feel free to ask, and I will do my best to answer any and all questions you might have. If I don't know the answer, we'll go find it. Alright, let's go get this guy back. Get him... Get this delivered, and then I've got a li just a little bit left on this field. I'll be able to can collect on both of those contracts. Um, I think what's left there is going to get saved for piggies, pig food. I've got $266,000. The question is, do I invest in more property? 
Of course you're stuck. Oh, that was a bad idea. I think I have, um... Made an error. That is, yes, that is quite the crash. I'm definitely going to widen that bridge on the, the map I'm working on. <laughs> yes, this, this bridge is evil. Not only does it need to be widened, but the ground on either side needs to be fixed. And I have a cheaty thing. And I'm gonna... No, no, not on the train tracks. That is rude. Go up the hill. I might have clipped that and named it Wheels. Is that you? <laughs> yes, that that was Wheels. Oh my gosh. Yeah. There we go. See, look at that. Didn't see a thing. Nothing to see here. Nothing to see here, folks. Nothing to see here. How's it going there, JK? Now, if this car would get out of my way so I can hook up to the trailer. Um. It's moving, it's moving. We're getting there. Come on, get on the truck. Get on the truck, please. I'm just gonna find that sweet spot in the front so I can hook up. Aha, I got the trigger. I got the trigger. I will drive over this car if I have to. Come on. No. Just things that belong to you, Biblio, unfortunately. Tires don't fail me now. Come on. I gave you all kinds of... Sh oh, of course another car would come along now. See, that's where I miss FS-13, and FS-13, when you hit a car, it flew out of the way. Yeah, that's what I've heard. Well, I played a lot of FS-13. <laughs> that's how I started my modding. <laughs> I don't like resetting things. And normally I don't ever use super strength on stuff, at least not recently. I did it all the time in 19, but something about 22, I haven't wanted to do it. Mm, pardon me. But I also didn't want to be stuck for 45 minutes while I'm trying to finish, like, two contracts here. Otherwise, I'd have had to go change out my telehandler for a new one, go pry things off the bridge, dealt with the AI somehow. I do have a steering wheel. I've got a Logitech G29.
<coughs> it is pretty nice to have uh, Obi Michi. It's uh, the force feedback and everything really adds a, a level of immersion to the game. Thank you for that follow, Obi Michi. Welcome to the channel. How are you doing today? Uh, Pro Gaming Dan, welcome to the channel. Thank you for that follow. How are you doing today? Yeah, Bodine, I could have gone and grabbed the Ford, but between the AI traffic and the bridge, I didn't feel like messing with it too much this morning. It was kind of a get it done and over with things so I can finish these contracts. You doing okay? Got this game? You don't know what you're doing past this tutorial? Uh, well, I mean, the game is a... It's definitely a marathon, not a sprint. If you have any questions, obviously feel free to ask. I'll do my best to answer them. Uh, da -da -da -da. Uh, you did say something about the grass rolling and ended up with massive windrows. Interesting, Polly. Uh, sorry, I missed that comment er earlier there, Paul. Uh, Polly Z. Um, yeah, that's interesting about the windrow thing. I've I've rolled some. Was it in a field or was that a meadow or something that you were doing? I do have to pick up my sugar beet thing. Question is, do I want the cut sugar beet one? Or do I want the regular sugar beet one? Because that one will do potatoes and sugar beets, and then I can just get the sugar beet. Hmm. Why do I have two of these, Billy? Field after the first cut? Yeah, that is interesting. One does cut sugar beets, the other does potatoes and sugar beets. Yeah, yes, cut sugar beets. Potatoes and sugar beets. Right, but... Sugar beet yeah. cut. I technically have three. One does right, six, right. one Two. does nine, this one does nine. Oh, so I've got an extra mod I can get rid of. Gotcha. Will do. I can take care of that. Why? Billy, Billy, Billy. So that one goes with that one, I'm guessing. Uh, I'll have to wait on buying that, but I will buy one of these setups. I think I'm going to go with this one here, because it's more multi-purpose. And then I can just get the little trailer that Big Daddy made. For cutting them if I want to. <laughs> that way I can right, do I'm potatoes. Fresh coffee? And some water up right back. Yep, will do. Uh. <laughs> All right, now I can turn in both of those contracts, get rid of some of the equipment on the map. Collect, collect, boom. Uh, harvesting field 10, fertilizing, 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 fertilizing. This idiot was in the process of doing that when he got stuck, so I'm gonna have to do that. You're okay, just gonna annoy Winston a bit in your Discord. Alright there, JK. Appreciate you coming and hanging out while you're doing so. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do the, the, the dual purpose one, and I can always get the, uh, 
sugar beet cart for cutting them if I want to bring them to the biogas plant, but that way I have a uh, source of sugar beet for the piggies. So I'm probably going to do a pig farm. Which is what I'll save all of these for. I'm going to have to find a spot for uh, the sugar beet uh, silo from X-Man. Pick up three more bales, get them up to the store. There's something else I could have converted to. I had a semi version of that can pick up the cotton bales. Yeah, is that the one though that has to like back up to the. Yeah. Bales. Because there, there was one for cotton and one for module. But the one I did, the version I did, I had a lot of color options on it and that. But I, because I, I had it working with my, because I had tobacco modules and hemp modules in my map in 19. So. Yeah, Dave, David added those, but I don't remember what he had for the trailer other than the auto load. Yeah, I got them as auto load on mine because I, I, I have a Great Dean trailer. Uh, that goes with that Peterbilt with the same skins on it. Mm -hmm. But I'm gonna, I'm going to convert it, but I'm going to uh, wait till a proper auto load trailer comes out before I uh, put auto load on it. Cause the way they got it right now is basically like a fill plane, and the 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 bales are using the bale loader using is basically from a bale pickup tra uh, trailer. So I gotcha. Seventy six percent. That actually works out pretty good. That means anything left on that field is going to be mine. I like that. I like leftover cotton. Something to do with the bucket on the front loader, even where you... Uh, Boomhauer had something happen with a bucket, and in his case it was straw. It just dumped out a massive, massive pile of straw all over the ground. Get my cultivator going again. Fertilizer going again. Yeah, that contract mod's going to help me get uh, my economy going. I think I'll actually go back to a normal economy. Now that I've got that contracting mod, it'll actually make contracts pay a lot more. You have three mods ready to add to the SGA. John Deere with single and dual care tires. A roller pack that has color options and double work speed, then a forage harvester pack that has the John Deere and class forage with multiple capacities and increased work speeds. Nice, nice. Uh, ba -dum -bum -bum -bum. Send this back on its merry way. Apologize for the honk. And the cackle in the background, it's just my wife losing her mind. Apparently you don't want to drive as a worker, so I will do it myself. I'll be back later. I'm going to see if I can get these wheel options finally working. Having issues, still having issues with them. So. Uh, what what are you having for issues there, Winston? No, I'm, I'm trying to get the because I'm using the in-game uh, yeah. truck as a, a sample for the for the and I, I took the Continentals, but I'm trying to get the the duels on the t tag, and there, I I just got to a fixity. Um, I got I think I got to move the transforms a bit to align them properly because they're they're way <laughs> they're way out of place. So. Ah, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I was gonna say. Because um, I'm using the in-game Mac, but they don't have dual tire or uh, they don't have the. The tags. Um, I'm just using yeah the tags, so I'm using the rear axles similar to it, but I'm trying to match it to 
the line I have from the other uh, set that actually has the tags, and they look, they look the same, but I think this, the numbers are, the uh, what do you call it, the, um, the offset numbers are off, I think, is what it is. That's what I'm doing it. Yeah. Um, He's trying to add it in as a single rather than a double, so. Yeah, I was going to say, uh, you can always check the Western Star, because it's got the dual tags, and see if, um, if that line might, help you uh, figure out what's going on with your tags. You guys, did you guys release the update of that with the the, the those other tires you put on it? Uh, not with the Treller Borgs on it yet, but it does have all of the other tires, the Nokians, the Alcoas, and the, and the standard tires, which are all under the Continental brand. Okay, I'll take a look, because I do have the, the model. For, okay, perfect, thank you. Like like I said when I was like I said when I was uh, messaging you earlier, if if I can't figure out how to do something, I always try and look for a mod that does it, and it usually teaches me how yeah. to do it from that point on. <laughs> yeah, well that's why that's why I'm glad I finally uh, finally uh, got to join your team because like I said, this way, this way it's, it's easier to come in here and and ask for help than it is to try to uh, try to find something when you when you don't know. You, you, at least you got somebody that at least somebody one of one of you should know. Yeah, that's something because each one each one learns something different while they're doing their modding. So, yep, yeah, not a problem, Winston. Uh, look forward to yeah, seeing uh, your uh, your update to it. And yeah, and this, and the, just a, just a note on the sum that I released, it is kind of large. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's what uh, people have said. The sawmill was was kind of large. I'm looking forward to taking a now, look at it. Unfortunately, yeah, unfortunately, the in the picture you'll see it's got a chain link fence around it. I had to remove the fence because I, I was having op issues because of the posts have multiple materials. Yeah, so I was gonna like, say they were all like lime green they, too. Yeah, yeah, and the thing is, if you you could place it once to be lime green, you place it a, a second time and it could be cr uh, the the brushed aluminum like I want it. So it's 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 glitching it between the two colors when you place it. So I just removed them because yeah. I still have the original blender file for the for the fencing, and I'm gonna redo the fencing. And then I'm also yeah. gonna see if I can take the same fencing and make it a placeable fencing system um, for for farm sim. So that way it, nice. you can use it on doing your doing your own factories or whatever you want to afterwards. So. Yep. Um, yeah, not a problem. Uh, one second there, programming Dan. I'll get you the link for it. Uh, Farmer Cope was asking about the W900, but you just left. Uh, Riney Brewer, uh, good morning. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. Uh, and so far, the AI, it's got its quirks uh, when you're trying to send it to do different things. Um but all in all, it's actually not bad. It's called Increased Mission Rewards um, on the SGA website. If you're not already a member, uh, there's the link direct to the incre mi Increased Mission Rewards. Um, do make sure to sign up. We're putting out new mods all the time. We got a lot of great stuff. Uh, yes, we do ask for an email verification, but it keeps out the bots and the trolls, um, or at least most of the trolls. And when you get your verification email, do make sure to check your spam and trash folders. A lot of times it gets caught in the filter. Nice, Farmer. Uh, I, I hope he um, sees that. Uh, the the mission rewards does not work in multiplayer. Uh, it's a bummer. I wasn't sure if it, I probably am missing the line for it, Phil. Uh, I will uh, I will check to see if it's got that line, and um, I'll I'll add it in if I can, and I'll put out an update. Uh, I won't be able to test it myself, so I'll put out an update with the with the line for the uh, multiplayer. Uh, and if anybody's there, just try and let me know if it's working or not. But I'll put the line in anyway, just to see. Um, a lot of us are, actually, as a matter of fact. Yes, multiplayer equals true. I forgot to add it to the mod description, Digital. That's all it probably needs. And I would imagine it would work. I just, I, 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 um, was rushing the mod description when I threw it together. Yep. 
I, it could be, like I said, I threw the mod, I threw the mod description together really fast, um, just by like tearing apart another one, and I don't know if it ever had the mod description there or not for the multiplayer. I think most times they do. Yeah, I don't yeah, know. I, I don't. Thought... Oh, it is in the mod description. Yeah. For the most part, I think a lot of mod descriptions do have them in, unless you create it from scratch and don't put it in like somebody did in FS19 for the stump stumpinator. But I'm not going to mention names. <laughs> <laughs> um, Just saying. I do not make mods for console poly. Um, I just kind of make a few mods here and there. I definitely don't consider myself a modder of any of any reproach, but I do some things. Uh, glad to have you, Farmer Cope. And it, it is one of those... If it wasn't for mods, I don't think this game would be half as popular and it would have died years ago. Mods really do... Um, help. And yes, digital. If you already have contracts open, it will not adjust those prices. If So if there's already contracts in your list they will not automatically update with the new pricing. You'll have to accept them, cancel them, and then when they pop back in the list, they should have the upgraded um, pricing. Um, deleting contracts, Phil, is as simple as uh, accept the contract, cancel the contract, and um, complete it. If you don't do anything with the contract, it shouldn't penalize you for doing it. You love SnowRunner, base game is cool, but with mods... Exactly. Uh, Snow Runner is another great game. It, it's pretty fun gameplay, but there's so many mods available for it that make it really, really that much better. Mm, excuse me. Only the problem with that Canada Dry Cran, uh, the Cape Cod Cranberry Dry, it's really right. good, but it makes you really burp. Uh, less carbonation, eh? Yeah, but it's got a ton of antioxidants in it, and it's pretty good. Ah, uh, Mr. Michael coming in with a host of one. I do appreciate it, Michael. How are you doing today? Are you awake yet, Michael? <laughs> and, and did you sleep or were you on your computer all night? Hopefully you're getting the overlap you need. Oh, of course you're not. This contract's gonna, this contract's gonna freak out, and not complete because of this little itty bitty tiny line right here. I guarantee it. Oh my goodness. You just woke up. Well, that's good to. Um, if you get vegetable boxes stuck in the ground, Polly, one thing you can try to do is get a front loader, a forklift, or anything with a set of pallet forks, and try and pry underneath the pallet. Uh, if you work at it enough, it should pop loose. Something else that people have found that works is um, driving over the corner of it with a heavy piece of equipment. Sometimes it will cause it to pop loose out of the ground. <laughs> You're in the UK and your wife looked at you in an odd way when you told you were planting until 3 a.m. <laughs> yep, yep, I can understand that. Certain moment you don't see the mods anymore through the modded forest. Mods are essential, but too many is no good. Correct, MacGyver, and as, and especially the more you add, the more chance you have with um, mods uh, interacting in an unfriendly way with one another and causing conflicts, which can then, of course, break your games. So mods are great, but they really need to be taken uh, with some reservation, and you need to really be able to know, if you're going to go crazy with the mods, how to read your log file to make sure you're not having issues. Uh, one of the things I would uh, recommend, Face Cake, is play the base game without mods to get used to it. Um, you you definitely want to get a feel for the game before you start adding a lot of mods, um, and that will allow you to. Okay, one and nine are done. Field ten. I got thirty thirty one. Um. It, it will 
it will get you used to the concepts of the game and it will give you an idea where you think you want to add to the game if if there's a certain type of cultivating or plowing or harvesting that you're not as into you want to speed up or make it easier or something like that then you can go looking for mods to fit that need if there is a brand of equipment you wish hey i'd like a planter or a cedar or a tractor of this brand you can go looking for that after you're like familiar with the game and you're more into what you want to do weeding mod that makes weeds more visible unfortunately there isn't one of those that i know of um that's the best advice you get for the day listen to the lads from the sga and don't get tempted to it uh well i i do have to fix my thing but the sim game alliance actually as a matter of fact the link just came up when i did that uh where a bunch of streamers and modders that all get together to uh, bring you guys all content on Farming Simulator or in simulation games. Not everybody plays Farming Simulator. Um, we we bring mods, we offer support, we offer help. There's forums. Um, it is a registered website, or you have to register a an email account to get in. But once you accept and you get in, you can get access to the mods we host there. Um, <clears throat> you can get... Uh, like I said, help with uh, with issues with your game, things like that. Um, <clears throat> uh, Dave Dagenet, he's basically like the head of the SGA. If it wasn't for him, the rest of us wouldn't be here. So um, somebody please make sure Dave gets a shout out uh, in chat if you could. One of my mods. Uh, he's currently working on a custom 4X map. Yes, exactly. It's a complete package. We, we, we help you out. We offer the custom maps, the whole nine yards. Thank you very much, Billy. Uh, make sure you yourself get a shout out. Billy there is also a member of the SGA. He streams um, a couple days a week, early mornings, Eastern time. Uh, he's in the UK himself. Uh, another great streamer. Um great modder does a lot of different things you saw those billy alpaca modding mods i had uh he's getting ready to add some more as well to the sim game alliance website so it's definitely worth checking out you cleared all your contracts on the new dedicated not sure but you think it's giving you the new rewards you could be wrong well the one way you'll know for sure digital is if you start seeing the cultivating and the plowing contracts come up because they're pretty high priced You'll know for sure as soon as you start seeing those. Some of the spraying contracts and stuff like that don't come up hugely different in price. But you'll see, like, I mean, 68, this is higher than it should be. Good morning there, Scurvy Nebula. How you doing? But when you start seeing cultivating contracts like this, you'll know you're getting updated pricing. <laughs> um... Uh, again, uh, good morning, Kev Kaz. How are you? Um, Ike Tavis, how are you doing this morning? Yeah, w with that, it's a matter of... Uh, fertilizing contract for... Yeah, well, there you go. you get getting the pricing. So that, um... Who was it? Uh, Phil. Make sure you guys clear out your contracts after you get the mod in, and it should be working on multiplayer. That's good to know. I will try to make a note of that. I'll go update the mod when I'm done. Because uh, that, that is something important to know, and I should have noted it in the mod itself. Not a problem, Face Cake. That's what we're here for. Uh, but as far as yeah, bales sure. go, uh, if you've got grass bales, wrapping them into silage, you can get a much better price selling them for silage to help get you going. Um, if you've got animals, animals are a thing. Like, see here... Grass, grass is not very profitable, but you wrap them into silage, and bang, big bonus. Uh, you can take some of that grass, head it into hay for animals. Uh, make sure you collect your straw off of um, harvesting. 
Uh, for the time being, until a patch comes out, I will warn you as well, when you're accepting contracts, avoid wheat, oat, and barley contracts right now because they drop straw on the ground, and when the game calculates the expected yield that you're going to turn in for the contract, it's including the straw in that yield. So they're bugged and they don't work properly. Other than that... Uh, I just explore, enjoy it, learn stuff, um, doing contracts. Uh, one of the things with contracts is always keep in mind you can borrow equipment. If you don't have a chance to really look at equipment, I mean, just look at the harvesting equipment. You could borrow the items for a small fee, and it gets you access to all different kinds of equipment for you to try out and learn and see what you like, see what you enjoy. That's another great way of t trying a bunch of equipment without a lot of money involved. Um, when it comes to mods, if you start moving into that, I would say start small, start with the in-game mod hub only. You're much less likely to have issues uh, as you start to work your way through it. And exactly crashes. There's never such thing as a noob question. You might be new to the game, but the only way to learn is to ask or explore and that's what we're here for. And again, Facecake, you're awesome. I appreciate you for using that Prime on me. You could have chosen anybody. I'm humbled you took me uh, and chose me to be your Prime subscription. Uh, there is also exclamation... Oh, help if I put the actual exclamation. That website right there, uh, who uh, Facecake is worth going to. It's Giant's website. It's their tutorial page. They have all kinds of information and they're adding additional pages to it all the time um, for planting crop, uh, like the different crops, um, how to sow, how to roll, how to cultivate, the different things to do for weeding and fertilizing and all that stuff. It's it's a good place to go in and learn rather than struggling through the game wondering what you're supposed to be doing and how you're supposed to be doing it. Um, don't be afraid of seasons in the game. It's very chill. It does help slow the game down to make it a lot better paced to to dive into. Um, and, and don't forget to play around with the speed of the game up here, your time scale. You can go from half speed, which means for every minute real life, 30 seconds passes in the game. So don't feel rushed. Don't feel like you have to get things done. If there's, if you're slowing down and you, you can uh, speed time up. Well, you can go up to 120 times speed, or you can rest and see. I'm even going to do it right now. You can rest through the day to get to the next month if you've got something going on uh, that you want to get done. Um, so it is a really chill game. It's it's meant to be easy and enjoyable. So don't ever get frustrated with it. If you find yourself getting frustrated, just put it up, take a break. Um, and and again, any member of the SGA, which you can find us all on that SGA website. Uh, see, five times speed, if you feel the game's going too fast, feel free to slow it down. If it's not going fast enough, speed it up. That's why it's in there. It's a lovely, lovely feature. Uh, if you're playing on PC, 7 and 8 on the keyboard will auto-change it without having to go in and out of the menu. But feel free to check out the SGA website. Uh, you can find links to all of the streamers there on the SGA website. As well as links to all of our pages. Yes, there are hotkeys all over the place. So as you can see, I'm streaming now. There's Big Daddy, who will be taking over for me in a little bit. Reaper, Impact, Casket, he streams on YouTube. Jabob, NBC, Obi-Wan, Billy, T. Miller, Scurvy, Ryan, Yosho, Boomhauer, Dadgenet, um, X-Man, Wheels. You know who I don't see on this list? Mouse. Oh, uh, Mouse is on yeah, YouTube, he, right? Yeah, because he's a YouTube, and Casket's not on Twitch anymore. That's right. Yeah, so, he can't link it. So yeah, that technically makes 18 of us here in the SGA, not 17 streamers. I keep looking at this list and forgetting that this is the Twitch, and that doesn't include YouTube. Perfect. 
You just use real time and hard economy, Ica? Well, if you want a little bit easier time... Oh, look at that. See? Boom. There's Billy. He threw up three mods this morning. <laughs> Matter of fact, look. Here's a nice little mod to get a little extra money off of your... Yep. Thank you there, Billy. I appreciate that. Um, this one here helps you get a little bit more money for those contracts if you want it. But yeah, there's... I'm in the forums... We have we put news up all the time. There's a calendar you can see on here to find out when people are streaming. Uh, updates all we update it all the different time. And right now we're in the middle of 22 days of Farm Sim 22. We're at 16 days and counting since early access began on the 19th of November, and we have been going one into the next into the next continuous without any drops in uh, streaming coverage. Thank you for the shout-out to Casket as well. Billy, you are definitely doing good. Can I ask how to become a listed stream? What do you mean, listed stream there, Mick Gaming? Grass problem drove you crazy, sold your track to trying to find out what was making the problem. Um, I don't know if Boomhauer ever figured out what happened to it. It just like he randomly had one bucket put a huge pile of straw on the ground. But as soon as he detached it, he got it fixed it. Listed streamer on the SGA Mick. If you want to become a member of the SGA, there's a couple of requirements. Uh you have to apply and you have to have a minimum of 700 followers um to be considered. If not, uh, I would recommend applying anyway. It'll get your name to us. It'll get us to take a look at you. Um, if we find you're a good streamer, you're a good fit, there is another way to get, to get around the, re the follower requirement in which we will uh, you can be potentially uh, recommended and voted on by the other streamers in the SGA. Um, and it will allow you to get in as a streamer without the 700 follower requirement. So... Uh, don't feel discouraged um, if that's the case. Don't tell Billy he's doing good. It goes to his head. Hey there, J. Dory. Billy's doing pretty decent. I'll I'll, I'll put him in his place later. <laughs> uh, the Pope of Beer. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the channel. How are you doing this morning? Uh, whenever you're ready, there, Big Daddy. Okay, let me get fired up here. I've just just got caught into a whole slew of questions, so it's like, woof, where did the last 20 minutes go? No, man. Uh, Please. <laughs> no. Roll on, man. Do you. I appreciate that, right, Pope of the up. Beer. Uh, good morning to you as well, J-Dor. ChrisX85, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the channel. How are you doing this morning? Takes a lot to get Big Daddy fired up. <laughs> <laughs> A little bit of coffee. Co a little bit of little bit of coffee, yeah. A third cup, we'll see how it works out. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get that player one, try that out. I'm telling you, yeah. I'm sure. I'm gonna be putting in an order this week, I think. See if my wife likes any of that player one stuff. That mint that, 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 I... that mint chip sounds delicious, and I don't do coffee, so Oh. Oh, I don't know there, J-Dor. That's, uh, that might be crossing a line with old Big D. Fishing planet's not a game, he said. <laughs> Hold on a second. Wow. You see, to say a comment like that, you actually have to come to the FSL and fired. practice every week. Shots fired. Fishing planet's not a game. That is shots fired right there. <laughs> um, Hull Rock. When you're, uh, you've been watching SGA for nearly a week and loving the community. Nice, good to hear, Mick. Like I said, um, put in an application. We'll take a look at you and go from there. No harm in applying. Uh, and, and there's actually members of the community that were denied their first time around and got in through other means or, uh whatever the case, but they're still members of the community. They became fantastic streamers and joined the SGA stream team. And uh, a, a no is never the end. <laughs> Veldian, he's right. It's not a game. It's a way of life. Uh, but Hallrock, what I was about to say with Lime, 
It depends on what time you're trying to put it on. One thing to keep in mind, if a field requires lime, it has to be done before it's planted. Same with picking rocks. If you've got a field with rocks on it or need liming, um, you have to do it before planting. Because if you plant, you will not be able to remove the rocks or lime after the fact. You'll have to wait. Shy Wizard's playing some fishing planet right now. F1 hybrid hunt. Good luck, Ooh, Shy Wizard. Good luck. FSL insurance is still expired, and both Progressive and Jake won't insure it. <laughs> they found some of the you SGA clips, he said. <laughs> yeah, you just sign the waiver. They, well, look, if they, if they insure wheels, they'll insure you, JJ. You're good. Yeah, it, I mean, they insured wheel. They insured me. You saw what I did with that bridge. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, pretty sure you remember wheels, you know, getting stuck with a combine in a tree. You, JJ, you're good, buddy. I mean, I mean do, do I have to show them the rail slide? I think I'm going to show them the rail slide before we head off here. Oh, the rail, uh, I like to yeah, save the flip for last. Or the flip, I think, is my favorite. Oh, yeah. Rail, slide's the, nice, rail the slide and is, the flip. They're getting oh. shown before we uh, head off here. How to cross a bridge without a header trailer. This is how you cross a bridge without a header trailer. And I appreciate those kind words there, Hall Rock. Letters in the mail about them dropping all SGA insurance. That's okay. We've got Dave. It's going to be a tight fit, but I don't think I'm going to make it. And that works, too. I mean... <laughs> that works. Can I teach Tony Hawk, or... Or what? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> that was nice. <laughs> that one was pretty good. That one was pretty good. And then um, this was the night uh, of early. Th this was the first night of um, full release. We were all on the uh, the website or on um, Yosho's private server, and I was trying to get my bail back. <laughs> that that takes a special kind of talent. If you need lessons, just come hang out. I'll show you how it's done. I mean, j just w w watch the talent here. And flip! <laughs> Sticks the landing. You can actually hear Yoshel cackling in the background because as I started laughing, he looked over and caught it like a second later. <laughs> yeah, I, I, <laughs> those are things you just can't, you know, do without a, a, a little bit of uh, luck in there. But yeah, that was... Hey, plugger, how you doing, sir? They're both up there for top clip of the month. It's, it'd be hard to say which one's which. Though I think actually Rail Slide was in December. Which oh, okay. would make it... Uh, yeah, I could go two months in a row with top clip of the month, potentially. Nice. <laughs> I don't know, J-Dor. Right now, I think I've kind of got him beat. I he, he's, he's debating head, handing over that title. We got a challenger, a new new challenger. Yeah, in I'm, the arena. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna give <laughs> him a good run for his money. Maybe use that in FSL and fling yourself over the bridge when the bill, <laughs> bridge is raised. That would be impressive. Um, though, what uh, what is it? Wur uh, Whirler or Whirler? Who's the one from Trelleborg there that does Whirler? The, yeah, Whirler, Whirler. yeah. He got stuck this morning trying to pick up a bale. His forks got stuck in the ground with a telehandler. And before you know it, he was doing, like, uh, fingertip, uh, like, push-ups with the baler straight up in the air with the telehandler. Oh, that's funny. Oh, yeah. He ended up flipping the thing over, somersaulting the, the telehandler because it was extended. Ooh. Though I got to say, he, he's got a pretty impressive talent for throwing two bales at the door with the telehandler. <laughs> Just flies across yeah. the bridge, hits the thing, and throws both bales at the door. 
That's pretty impressive. Yeah. I have an olive harvester. So on that note, I'm going to pop a save. You're live now there, Big D? Yes, sir. Seven minutes, I am live. Perfect. I've been, sorry, I've been live for seven minutes. Yep, we're good to go. No, sir, you have not. Wheels and you have been playing for six years. We have done some stuff. Well, I'm going to come and take that title there, JJ. I know that's what he calls you, JJ. I'm going to come for that title. Who knows? Maybe I will join you in Wheels and we'll have some pretty epic ad adventures. May may maybe we can have some epic Icarus adventures. What do you think? <laughs> One, two, six, seven, eight. There's a tracker call on PV5. <laughs> nice. Oh, no, that's not what the command is. It's. Raid. Big the cash dropped. Yeah, I took out. Yeah, 1D. Unfold the lava. <laughs> nice, Brucey boy. You have a good day as well, Digital Frost. Thank you all for coming and hanging out. Thank Yosho again for the raid. Uh, all the follows. You guys are awesome and amazing. As I've said many times, I'll continue to say it. Uh, I will look to see you again soon. Ren Shacky, thank you for coming in with that last minute there follow. I appreciate it. You're awesome. Hope you have a great day. We'll catch you all over in Big Daddy's chat. And I will see you guys... Probably tomorrow morning. See you later, Brucey, JJ, uh, Big Daddy, 012678. I've got the button. I hit the button. Did I send it to the right place? I really hope I did. I don't want to be that guy. Uh, I think you need a forward slash. Oh, yeah, forward slash. Not that one. My bad. Dur, 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 dur. That's all good. <laughs> yeah, that... that... The cash has dropped, Phil. I took out some, to be honest with you. I was just way overboard, and I'm just trying to, uh, you know, check it out here. That of course, went. buying all the facilities. Yep. Last minute F. Nah, it's all good, man. And Stuck the landing. I sure did. <laughs>